After we've recorded a track in GarageBand iOS, we can use the MIDI editor with the piano roll view to fine tune all our note positions and values. This can allow almost unlimited control over our music. In this video, we'll go over how to use the MIDI editor in GarageBand iOS. Before checking out this video, make sure to check out our other videos in this series so you're all caught up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos are released on this channel. To get started with the MIDI editor in GarageBand iOS, we need to make sure our track is recorded first. We covered how to record using the touch keyboard and touch drums in the last videos. Once you're done that, switch to the tracks view at the top. You'll see your MIDI clips along the tracks for each of the instruments. These are presented with little dots and dashes that represent the notes that are being played for a time and pitch. If we touch one of the clips, we can see we get options for cut, copy, delete, loop, split, edit, rename, and settings. The edit tool will bring up the piano roll view for MIDI editing. From the MIDI editor and piano roll view, we can see all the note values on the left side and the timeline along the top. Using this for drum clips, we can see icons for the different parts of the drum kit on the left. You can see at the bottom that we have the kick drum with our snare above that. Towards the middle, we have our hi-hats and cymbals. Each of the notes that we hit when playing the touch drums is represented by a rectangle on the screen at a certain position and length. It's these little rectangles that we'll want to add it to change our drum pattern. To make this much easier, we can zoom in by pinching outwards and horizontally along the timeline to see our notes in closer detail. By touching and dragging, we can drag one of the notes to a different note value which will change the pitch of the note if it's a keyboard, or the type of drum that's being played if it's a drum. We can also extend the length of the note by dragging the right side of it, particularly if it's a note with sustain such as a synth or instrument, but this doesn't do very much for a drum. If we want to add new notes, we must use the pencil tool which is located in the top left to turn on the draw mode. Then we can draw notes. If we press a note without moving it, we can cut, copy, delete, or change the velocity of each of the individual MIDI events. Changing the velocity is done with a scroll bar. Unfortunately, the velocity is very tedious to change for a lot of notes and it all must be done individually. Thanks for checking out this video on using the MIDI editor and piano roll in GarageBand iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified whenever new videos are released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.